Okay, so let's play. Today, my engines will race downhill on a giant snow mountain. By my order. All right, race fans. Today, we are on the top of Mount Sodor where we're gonna be racing engines down a ski hill. How will they get down, you ask? Easy. We're going to attach them to the sleds and sled them down to see who can make it to the bottom first, or in most cases, who can just make it to the bottom successfully. We've got 16 engines here. We're gonna have a great race. The crowd here at Mount Sodor is excited. They wanna see some races. They're really ready to go. William, which one is it gonna be? Who's gonna be our two first contestants? Oh, we've got Iron, I believe this is Iron Bert. Iron Bert has been selected to be one of the first races and he's gonna go up against. Silly oh, steamies. how can it be silly steamies when it's diesel versus diesel? Here's our first contestants on Mount Sodor. Let's get these guys up and ready to go. We expect big things from the diesels here today. Diesel, diesel winning the first competition. Let's figure out who our next contestants are going to be. Do we have any selected at this point? Looks like Oliver, the Great Western Engine, going up and Oh! Liam, our, our judge selector here, likes putting similar engines together. We've got two Great Western Engines as Duck takes on Oliver. Oliver pie-eyed at the thoughts of going after Duck. Here it is, folks. Battle of the Great Western Engines. Oliver, Duck. Let's get him on the starting blocks. Ready? Set, go! Oh, it's a good race, but it looks like Oliver, I think Oliver won that one. Two crowd favorites have already made it on to the next round. We are on our third race. Who's it gonna be, William? Looks like Salty, another diesel. The dock side diesel, Salty. Who would be brave enough to challenge Salty, do you think? Victor. Oh, Victor and Salty, battle of a couple of red engines. Narrow gauge versus diesel. Let's get these guys on the starting blocks. Yeah. Victor, the Cuban, we don't expect him to do too well. Not many ski slopes in Havana. And Salty, well, Salty, Salty. He always does good at everything. Let's get him on the starting block. Ready, set, go. Oh, Salty, it looks like Salty. Victor. Turned around, Salty all the way to the end. That's absolutely outstanding. It's another diesel in the next round. Oh. Oh. You want Gordon? Yeah. Gordon? Gordon? And Spencer? I'm the fastest one there is. Are we going to have this race again, Spencer? Express coming through. Well, folks, it looks like the first round is gonna show us the classic race everyone wants to see. The two most powerful engines on Sodor, but let's see how they do on snow. Let's get them on the block. Ready, steady, oh. go! Oh! Looks like, wow, what terrible race. Spencer does a somersault but wins. We're gonna have Spencer go on to the second round. Oh, oh Millie! Millie, the little French narrow gauge engine. Who is she get? Oh, and Thomas. Thomas, a very big crowd favorite, but never discount Millie. Those, that short track is a lot less weight and she might do very well in the snow. A little trash talking there by between the competitors. Okay, not much trash talking at this point between our competitors. Maybe it's because they speak two different languages. Ready, set, go. Oh, Millie tumbling down. I guess Millie's unique tumble and fall technique has won this race. Oh. Oh. So already a big surprise in today's festivities. Thomas, a very big crowd favorite, has been eliminated in the first round, but we're looking for a champion, so we have no time for losers. We're down to the last six of the first round. Who's it gonna be? Toby, Stanley, what an odd pairing this is gonna be. Yeah. Set, go. go, and off they go. Toby with the tumble and the fall. Stanley with a very smooth ride. What do the judges say? Who won that one? Toby. What? What? How could Toby have won that one with his tip and fall, tumble, fall? <laughs> Final four, what are we looking at for this race? We've got the four, who's it gonna be? It looks like Henry coming forward now. 
Henry being chosen out of who will be his competitor. What? Percy? Only one green engine can survive. Let's get them on the blocks. The larger engine's not doing as strongly today. Percy, all that muscle, pulling all that mail all night long. Let's get them down here. Let's see what happens. One, two, three, go. Oh, Percy, far and away. I think Percy won that one. No issue whatsoever. The little engine that could with a very smooth ride. Oh, awesome. Henry taking the nip and tumble. Hey Thomas, I made it to the second round. Nobody likes a show off, Percy. When you're this good, it's not showing off, Thomas. Here we have the final race. Diesel 10, very happy for some odd reason. Looking forward to this. Maybe Pinchy has a plan. Proteus, the stern face of a champion. Will he light up the snow hill? Yeah, apparently he will. And we're off and ready to go. Ready, set, go! And here they go, Proteus and Diesel 10. Oh, I think that Proteus had a very clean turn there at the end. Oh, here they go, Proteus and Diesel. Proteus, a beacon of hope in that last run. Let's see how he does in the next round. Oh, Pinche. Well, here we have the great eight, but before we get to the next round, we're gonna let the snow grooming crew take care of the mountain for the next round. We're here on the inside track with Liam, the Black Diamond, as he's also known as of the ski hills. Liam, what do you think of the big engines doing the nip and tuck tumble fall down the mountain? Is it a good strategy? Um, they're actually doing it because they're heaviest. Because they're the heaviest, does that mean that you think that the lighter engines have a distinct advantage? Yes. What do you think of the sleds? Do you enjoy watching the sleds come down the hill? Um, I think it's awesome. And are you very excited about the snow races today? And do you think we'll be doing more snow races in the future? Uh, yes. Fantastic. Well, that is the inside track with Liam. Thank you, Liam. Here we are, the grade eight. Let's see, what's gonna be the first race of the grade eight? Do we have a selector? Salty stepping forward as he, we knew he would. It looked like Oliver, but I think Diesel, battle of our last two remaining Diesels, Diesel, the underrated bad guy of Sodor, if you will, and Salty, too friendly for his own good. Let's get them out here. Ready, set, go, and they're off, and oh, Salty takes a tumble, but so does Diesel at the end. That was a very close race. Who do you think won that one? I think it was Salty. Oh wow, snow covered. That old salt doggy. He's been covered in oil, he's been covered in confetti, but now he's covered in snow. Spencer coming forward, that stern look on his face. Proteus, wow. Whoa, what a race this is gonna be. Oh, they're down, oh, Proteus. Proteus, with the nip and tumble, Spencer makes it on to the next round. <laughs> Some major upsets here already, but let's get on to this round. Who's it going to be? Percy coming forward. Who's he? Oh, and Oliver. This is going to be a good race. Only one green engine can make it to the next round. Bottle of the big green engines here. Great Western versus Sodor Mainline. Let's get them going. Ready, set, go. Oh, and they're off. But I think that that was very clearly Ready, Oliver. Wins. I think that was Oliver. Oliver. Hey. Hey, Oliver now making it to the next round. Percy eliminated. Here we are, guys. Millie, Team France versus Toby. A surprise in this one, but he turns out to be doing very well. Let's get him going. Bonjour, Toby. Comment ça va? Henrietta. Oh, who, oh, Toby was in the lead, but I think Millie won that one. Yay, Millie won. I think that was definitely Yay. Millie. The final four here at the top of Mount Sodor. Very impressive. Let's see who our first two are going to be in the semifinals. Salty always coming forward in the first race, and it looks like Spencer trying to push him out of the way a little bit. Oh, Salty! Whoa, what a smooth run for Salty. Spencer will be in the race for third place, but Salty. Surprisingly, or not surprisingly, if you've been paying attention to our races, Salty always seems to do good no matter what Salty we use. Oliver looks very excited to be racing Millie here at the last semifinal match. Millie, the French engine, Oliver, Great Western Rail Railway. Let's see who will make it on to the final. 
go. Oh, it looks like Millie far and away. Hey. Well, we know who's going to be in the final as Salty will face Millie for the championship. But first, it's going to be our third place race. Oliver from the Great Rest Western Railway versus Spencer from the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. Nothing more to say about these two. They know that this is for the bronze medal. Very important race. Okay, we know what's at stake here. This is the bronze medal. Let's get them on the blocks and ready to go. Twice, let's go! Oh! And both of them bailed out, but Spencer doesn't even make it down the hill. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford must just be beside themselves. Oh. And he seems ecstatic, folks. The gold medal race, we know what this is all about, so there's nothing more to say. Salty representing Brenham Docks, Millie representing France, or even Old Street Castle. Let's get them going. Race that go! Whoa, big racing! Millie! Millie! Taking it for Olstead Castle! Our female entry makes it all the way with that small wheelbase. Absolutely fantastic! <laughs> Salty has to go face the wrath of Cranky now. Well, here we are as Sir Topham Hat presents the winner, Millie, with the Snowman Cup. Salty finishing a very respectable second. Oliver, the pride of the Great Western Railway, coming in third. But the big story is Millie taking back to Ulstead Castle the Snowman Cup. Absolutely fantastic. And we have proven that the smaller engines with the narrower wheelbases do very well in these types of competitions. As the crowd comes over and celebrates the new champion, we are going to sign off from the top of Sodor Mountain and bid you farewell. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more races. Go! Oh! Full start! Unreal! Let's see if Proteus even makes an attempt. What happened there? Just sticking. He's just sticking. Go! <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah.